All right, so if you guys are like me and you have an old nasty spare wheel cover on your right, um, where you have no clue what it is and you think it's ugly, then I got the right thing for you. So we will paint this one and change the color to something we like because this looks ugly and old and oh my god, it's, yeah, it's an embarrassment on your right, especially from the back, everybody can see it. So... We will clean this first and for that we have this um, vinyl cleaner which we used also on our seats and since this is some kind of artificial leather or vinyl uh, we will just use it on there and it's the same deal. You get a very deep cleaning. We cleaned this before with water and still looks glossy and there's probably grease on there so we will just use our spray on there and it just gives you drops that's not so good so you better do some kind of swoosh uh, sweeping movement while you do that to, to spray it on there evenly and that way we're gonna clean it first. dirt is off so you can see it's not or it's less um, obviously dirty now and this is quite smooth just still some some dust just because of the environment here and I'm not in anything like a, a painting chamber but this is good enough. So we let this dry because we still have some some of the uh, cleaner on here and we want this all to be dried off before we start um, with our primer. Okay, we let this sit for a few hours just to be sure and then we go for the primer. Okay, so we will do one last time decreasing then we start with the base coat and then we go for the top coat and we're using a Montana spray can black version or black variant and we get the Trabi color which looks quite nice I think already using it on some other parts so we start one last time decreasing on the big surface and all around um, wiping it off with some paper towels and then directly going for the the primer all right let's do it So we have our first layer of base coat on there and what we're going to do next is we want to save the Toyota logo and it's a little bit of a pain to mask it or to uh, make a mask and put it on staple and put it then on later. So what we will do is between our different coats we're going to take a sharpie and draw the outline not super accurate because we're going to do something different with it afterwards but at least we know where it was so we got our outline with the sharpie and this will help us later to also recreate the Toyota logo.
All right, so what's that acrylic paint doing here? It's all red and voila. So what we did is we decided to go a little bit creative on this and make this actually look self-made. And I kind of liked how this turned out. We just used a very small brush you can see it here and dotted a little bit all over there Next step, so we have our logo on there and now we will add the Toyota name and we created a small stencil I would say which we just use for the outline and then all of the rest we also do just with a brush because of the convenience. So we took a piece of tape here to just get a horizontal line. Um, that's very important else it's gonna look a little bit odd uh, afterwards and because it's a little bit tricky to get this straight we will just put a board on the back side to get it straight put the Toyota um, stencil on there and then draw the outline to have that um, set and then we go for the pen all right let's go we got our transfer so stencil did a good job and got us a nice uh, pretty much straight Toyota tag on there so next we go for good old uh, brush with some black acrylic paint and we will try to get nice straight even lines Here we go took a little while and very very intense to get lines straight with the brush but I'm really happy with the result and you guys can see it is not perfect by far when it comes to straight lines but everybody on the road is gonna see it so far away so it doesn't matter and this looks great so time for clear coat I guess again Montana uh, we use the matte varnish and we're gonna put on a light coat and then two three four I don't know a few uh, thicker coats all right let's start with the Right, first coat we wait and then we go for some more I'm gonna show you that I just go for the result so that's what we got and 
I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, it looks great. It's small amount of work. It's not too much. You just need some spray cans and you got to clean the surface very properly and then you get a pretty nice result and just do what you want. It's totally up to your own creativity and just be individual. I hope you guys like this. Thumbs up. Thanks.